With any disease that affects the brain, whether it's a tumor or a stroke or anything else, the symptoms really depend upon where in the brain the tumor is located. Uh, there are certain regions in the brain where a tumor can grow quite large because it's not serving a function that you would notice on a day-to-day -day basis. So it might take a while before you start to notice personality changes, maybe some lapses in memory. In contrast, if you have a tumor that's affecting an area of the brain that controls strength or coordination, then you would notice that immediately, of course. So how a patient comes to medical attention largely depends upon, one, where is the tumor, but also two, how large is that tumor? And last but not least, how fast or slowly did it grow to be that size? Well, in terms of diagnosis, that can sometimes be a challenge. When you go to your family doctor or your general doctor, you might just be presenting with headaches. And it's very rare that a person coming with mild symptoms like that has a brain tumor, but it's when the symptoms are relentless, a person often will get a scan done. And a lot of our diagnosis is based upon how the tumor or the mass looks on the MRI or CT. And we have a pretty good idea just by looking at those initial pictures as to what the tumor is going to turn out to be. Now, once a scan is done, we almost always have to get at least a piece of that tumor to look at under the microscope. In an ideal situation, we'd like to take out as much of the tumor as possible by way of surgery. But if the tumor is located in a very difficult to access location, we would actually do a biopsy instead.